So let's talk about writing standard equation to a general equation of a circle. So let's start with this standard equation, which is x minus 1 raised to the power of 2 plus y plus 1 raised to the power of 2. That will be equal to 4. So how do we convert this one into general form or general equation of a circle? So all we have to do is to expand your x minus 1 squared and your y plus 1 squared. Then do the math. Do the combination of every like terms in there and always have the right side equal to zero. That will be your general form. So let's start by expanding x minus 1 squared. You may do special product or you may do x minus 1 times x minus 1 and do the FOIL method. So let us start with a special product. On the special product, all you have to do is to square always the first term. So we've got x squared. Then we multiply the two terms here, x times negative 1, and then double it, meaning you multiply that 1 by 2. So x times negative 1 is negative x times 2. That will be negative 2x. After that one, we are now going to square our second term. So negative 1 squared, that will be positive 1. Then we go to the second group. We've got y plus 1 squared. So doing the special product again, we are to square the first term. So we've got plus y squared. Then we multiply the 2, y times 1. That's y times 2. That will be 2y. So we have plus 2y. Next, we square the last term. This is 1 squared. That's equal to 1. And that will be equal to 4. Next, we try to move 4 to the other side. We've got x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared plus 2y plus 1. And then we move 4 to the other side by subtracting each of the side here by 4. So this is now minus 4. And that's equal to 4 minus 4, which is 0. Or simply, we moved 4 to the other side. So that's why we've got a minus 4 on the left side. Next one is for us to combine like terms. So the, the things that we can combine here are the positive 1, the po positive 1, and the negative 4. So we may write starting off with x squared and then plus we've got y squared. Then we have minus 2x and then we have plus 2y. And then we've got 1 plus 1, that's 2, minus 4, that's negative 2. So this is minus 2, that's equal to 0. So this is now our general form of our equation of the circle. Okay, let's now try our second problem. So if you want, you can do this one on your own. You can pause the video and then resume it once you have the answer. So let's now expand our first binomial. So we've got x plus 3 squared. Again, we do the special product. Square the first term, that will be x squared. Next, we multiply the two terms, x times 3, that will be 3x times 2. 2 will always be multiplied right after we multiply the two terms. So that will be plus 6x. Then we square the last term, so that will be 9. Then we go for expanding the next one. y plus 4 raised to the power of 2, we do the special product again. y to the power of 2, that will be y squared. Multiply the 2, y times 4, that's 4y times 2 again, that will be 8y. Then we do square our last term, so that will be 16. Then that will be equal to 16. We move our... 16 to the left side. So we've got here x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus y squared plus 8y plus 16. So we are subtracting 16 on the two sides here so that we can move 16 to the left side and we are left with 0 at the right side. So this is now with minus 16. That's equal to 0. Now combining those constants and writing Rearranging this one in a manner that our x squared will be first, followed by the y squared, then followed by 
the x, the one that contains an x in a term. So we've got plus 6x, then followed by the one that contains a y on a term. So we have plus 8y. Then we are combining those constants here. So 9 plus 16 minus 16. 16 minus 16 is already 0. So we've got that one as plus 9. And that's equal to 0. So this is now our general form of our equation. So let us now go for the next example. So again, we will be expanding this one. You may pause the video, by the way, and then resume that one once you're done expanding it, this one and writing this into general form. So let's start expanding this one here by special product. So again, we square the first term, x squared, and then we multiply this one here, x times 2, that will be 2x times 2, that will be 4x. Then we square the last term, that will be 4. Then we expand the second group, so we've got y raised to the power of 2, that's y squared. y times negative 3, that's negative 3y, times 2, that will be negative 6y. Square the last term, negative 3 squared, that is positive 9, and that's equal to 5. Then again, we move the constant to the left side. So we've got x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9. We subtract 5 on the two sides so that there will be no more uh, left at the right side aside from 0. So this is now minus 5 and that's equal to 0. We do arranging. We start with x squared followed by y squared. Then we go for the one that contains an x on the term. We have plus 4x, followed by the y there, so we have minus 6y. Then we combine the constants of 4 plus 9, that's 13, minus 5, that will be equal to 8, which is positive, and that's equal to 0. So this is now our general form of our equation. So let us have this one as our last example. So again, we do the expanding of all the binomials there. We start with this one. So we have squared the first term. So x squared. Then multiply the 2. x times negative 4. That's negative 4x times 2. That will be negative 8x. Then we square our last term. Negative 4 squared. That's positive 16. Then we do the expansion of the second group. So y squared, that will be y squared. Then multiply the 2, 6 times negative 1, that's negative y, times 2, that will be negative 2y. Then we square our second term, negative 1 squared, that's plus 1, and that's equal to 9. After this one, we have to move 9 to the other side, so this is now x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus y squared minus 2y, plus 1, minus 9, and that's equal to 0. We then arrange, so starting off with x squared. Next will be y squared. Next will be with, with the x here, so we have minus 8x. Now always remember when you try to change position within our location, we have to bring with us the sign before the number. So this is minus, so we have to bring minus with 8x. Next, we have 2y, so again, we've got a minus in there, so that should be minus 2y. Then we go for adding or combining the numbers. 16 plus 1, that will be 17, minus 9, that will be equal to positive 8. So we have here, plus 8. Next, we have this one equal to 0. So this is now our general form of our equation of the circle. So I hope that you were able to learn something new for, from me today. So again, this is your teacher Jenny saying, good luck in every challenges that you are facing on your day-to-day -day life.